Good evening, YouTube community, and welcome back to another box break. Today we're going to be opening up a bundle box from Magic the Gathering. The set is Bloomboro. Within one of these bundle boxes, there are nine packs, 14 cards in each pack. We get a Alt Art Traditional Foil, Thunder Trap Trainer, we get the little Bloomboro card box, we get the 20 sided die. Some extended art foils as well as traditional foils. Let's go ahead and crack into this bad boy. Typically I do pack wars, but being that there's an odd pack out, we're just gonna go ahead and crack them all and see what's inside. Oh, sweet. So we got this cool little five by seven art. Now on the back, a bunch of these guys just chilling, hanging out. Here is our box, some pretty sweet art. Within these guys, there's typically like little pieces of cardboard you can use for like your tokens, another little cool art. More plus one, plus one counters. <laughs> these definitely come in handy with this set. There's a lot of plus one, plus one uh, abilities. And that's pretty sweet art too. Looks like this is going to be our little promo card, that Thunder Trap. Then this guy should be our Extended Arts Foils. Looks like one more pack. Oh, sweet. Here is our little 20-sided die with the Bloomboro logo within. Pretty cool. All right, so let's just go ahead and crack into it. Basically what we're looking for is sweet cards. Foils would be a plus. All right, Alana's Pathmaker. Tree Guard Duo. Pearl of Wisdom. Rabbit Response. Sender and Cutthroat. This is the first time I've seen this card. That looks pretty cool. So for three mana, Cindering Cutthroat enters with a plus one, plus one counter on it if an opponent lost life this turn. Pretty cool. Metal Guard, Mind Whisker, Bandit's Talent. Really been enjoying this set. A lot of cool synergy cards. Again, really amazing art. Oh, nice. So Sun Spine Links. Players can't gain life. Damage can't be prevented. Whenever Lynx enters, it deals damage to player equal to the number of non-basic lands that player controls. It's pretty cool. I actually used this on the pre-release night. It was my promo card within my pack. And then we got an extended art mountain, non-foil, and then our foil card is gonna be Head of the Homestead. Little token card. All right, pack two. What'd it do? All right. One of the cool things about this set is that, again, it's based off a of synergy, so bat lizard. So if you're playing with all lizards, this will go with it. If you're playing all bats, same idea right here, Raccoon Warriors. So if you're running raccoons, awesome. If you're running warriors, even better. Mind Spiral. There's another card I haven't seen. Three mana, choose one. Agate Assault deals four damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. Or I can exile target artifact, awesome. Head of the Homestead. That's cool. Let's check out this card. Wonder Tail Mentor. Two mana. It's a 2-2 two -two creature. It's a raccoon and a bard. Whenever you expend four, 
Put a plus one, plus one counter on Wandertail Mentor. And then it looks like it has the ability to be tapped and you can either choose to have a forest or a mountain. Pretty cool. Cliff top lookout. Ruthless, ruthless negotiation. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Camellia. The Seed Meister. It's a legendary creature. Other scrolls you control have Menace. Menace just means that it needs to have two creatures to block it. Whenever this attacks, the opponent needs to block it with two creatures. Otherwise, it just goes on through. Hey, that's pretty sweet. Got a Swamp, Non-Foil, or Hollow. It's a common. And these are pretty cool. I don't know how everybody else feels, but I'd rather get this little piece of art rather than a token. Pretty cool. They also make um, gold inlay with the artist signature on there. Or it's the artist signature with made in a gold inlay. Here's another card I haven't seen. Two mana. Steam Path Charger. It's a lizard and a warlock. It has offspring two. You may pay an additional two mana as you cast this spell. If you do, when this creature enters, create a 1-1 one, one token copy of it. And then whenever this dies, it deals one damage to target player. Pretty cool. Again, the art looks freaking awesome. Dang, this is pretty cool. For, so for four mana, this spell costs one less to cast for each frog you control. Target creature you control deals damage equal to twice its power to target creature you don't control. Here's like that little poster that we ended up getting. Dang, man, this looks crazy. <laughs> Rat Berserker. Alright, our rare card is Valley Quest Caller. And everybody's just kicking it together. You got rabbits, bats, mice, a little bird. Oh, there we go. We got a our first foiled extended art land. Our holographic is a common card. We go ahead and penny sleeve this guy up. And then with these extended arts, so there's spring, which this is probably spring. There's a summer, a fall, and then a winter version of all these cards. So. Something to look out for. All right, pack three. Come on. Let's see a holographic rare or mythic rare, or just a mythic rare in general. It's cool if we can get a planeswalker. There's a bunch of planeswalkers in this set, and they're all been uh, put into a rabbit, bird, otter character as opposed to their normal human-looking character. Starting to get into our uncommons again. If you haven't noticed, so whenever the emblem is all blocked out, that means common. Whenever it's that gray white color, that's going to be our uncommon. And then whenever it's gold, that's our rare. And then if we see red, that's going to be our mythic rare, meaning the rarest. All right, so our rare is going to be for the common good. Oh, wow, here we go, an extended art rare. Too cool. Valley Rot Collar. Two mana, it has menace. Whenever it attacks, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life. 
where X is the number of squirrels, bats, lizards, and rats you control. Dude, that's awesome. Definitely make sure we sleep that bad boy up. Got a little planes. And then our holographic is going to be just a little common. Alright, come on, pack boy. Maybe this is five. This might be five. Yeah, it's pack five. Here's a new one I haven't seen. Brave Kin Duo. One mana. It's a rabbit mouse. And then it looks like for one mana. It can be tapped. Target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Activate only as a sorcery. Meaning, if it was somebody else's turn, I wouldn't be able to do that. As sorceries can only be done on your turn. So our rare card is going to be this little Saga card. Looks like for three mana, whenever one or more tokens you control enter, draw a card. This ability track triggers only once each turn. And then level two for one mana. When this class becomes level two, create a token that's a copy of target token you control. All right, that's awesome. And then level three for four mana. Creature tokens you control get plus two, plus two. That's freaking awesome. A extended art, non-foil, and then our foil card is gonna be this little uncommon card. And a little token. All right, fourth from the last pack. Got Warren Elder to start. Very nice. Shore up. So for one island, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and gains hexproof until end of turn. Untap it. That's freaking awesome. Come on. Let's see something cool. All right, there's something kind of cool. A little uncommon card, but let's shoot for the stars. Come on. Alright, this next one should be our rare. We got Paw Patch Recruit for one mana. It's a 2-1 Rabbit Warrior. It has Offspring, Trample, and then whenever a creature you control becomes a target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control other than that creature. Awesome. Got Extended Art Swamp. Our rare card, or I'm sorry, our holographic is a common. Has a little token. All right, come on, third, third from the last pack. Psychic Whirl, three mana, it's a sorcery, target opponent, discards two cards, and if you control a rat, surveil two. And then surveil just means look at the top two cards of your library, then you put any number of them in your graveyard and the rest at the top of your library in any order. I don't even know what's going on in that picture, it looks wild. Yeah, 
Here we go. Valley Flame Caller. So it's a Lizard Warlock. Three mana. If a Lizard, Mouse, Otter, or Raccoon you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals that much damage plus one. Pretty cool. Definitely amazing art. No way. Here we go. The infamous Cruel Claw. Three mana. All right, so there's our rare little, uh, I guess, leaf. It has Menace. Whenever the infamous Cruel Claw deals combat damage to a player, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card. You may cast that card by discarding a card rather than paying its mana cost. That's pretty sweet. Oh, nice. Then we right hit it right back with another banger. Dang, that's awesome. So this will be a our fall extended art island. And then our holographic is a little common. Sweet artwork there. Let's make sure we penny sleeve up these little cool cards. Yeah, so these this one's gonna be either your summer or spring, and then we have our fall. Got the leaves on the ground, colors are changing. Pretty sweet. Again, this guy's freaking awesome. Let me just penny sleeve up this little lizard bro. All right, second to last pack magic. Come on, Let's get something cool. Hidden Grotto. So it's a land. Whenever Hidden Grotto enters, surveil one. And then it has the opportunity to add one colorless. And then also for one mana, I can add one color or one mana of any color. Pretty cool. Definitely haven't noticed that many artifact cards in this set. At least from what I've pulled. Here we go. Festive of Embers. Enchantment for five mana. During your turn, you may cast an instant or sorcery spell from your graveyard by paying one life in addition to its other cost. If a card or token would be put into the graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. Pretty neat. Our extended art is a plains. Our hollow is an uncommon. And we got a little fish token. All right, last pack magic. <laughs> That's pretty cool. War squeak. So for one mountain, Enchant creature. Whenever War Squeak enters, target creature and opponent controls can't block this turn. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has haste. Haste just means that it you can attack as soon as you play the card. You don't have to wait a turn. Because whenever you play a creature, it comes under your control with summoning sickness, meaning you can't attack this turn whenever you pull it out. Unless it has haste. Long River Lurker. Pretty cool art on that one again. Rare card is Mockingbird. It says X and then one island. It's a creature bard. It has flying. It's a 1 1. You may have. Mockingbird enter as a copy of any creature on the battlefield with mana 
value less than equal or equal to the amount of mana spent to cast Mockingbird, except it's a bird in addition to its other types and it has flying. Pretty dope. Got the extended art mountain, hollow common, and then a food token. Pretty cool. Let's crack into this package with the promo. We can check that out. I'm probably gonna keep my extended art land sealed for the moment until I can get them all nice and penny sleeved up. Thunderclap Trainer for two mana. It has offspring four. When this creature enters, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them. Put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. Dang, that's pretty bad. Dang, that's sweet. Oh, wow. Oh, man. These are good. Swamp. Got an awesome mountain. Old forest. Snowmobile plains. Dang, man. I was just going to skip over them, but the art on these are really nice. And the hollows really pop. That's pretty sweet. If you look there, there's like little lizard handprints. That's sweet. Moon in the background. Very nice. Well, now that I, I notice that there's full art, or rather extended art, foils in this pack, let's go ahead and crack into that other pack and see what's in that. So, that'd be cool if these were all extended art. Let's find out, let's see what they are. Okay, these are just non-foiled, I guess. Here's your winter scene. That's the one we've seen before. Oh, man. Yeah, these are so cool. There's your little winter landscape. Yeah, the last one we just saw was fall. That's your winter. All right, so we got spring. I guess this is summer. Everything's burning up. <laughs> we got winter. Awesome. Looks like spring in the forest. We got summer in the forest. And then winter in the forest. And then this is basically just telling you how to play. Some other little cool things tips and tricks. Pretty neat. Not too shabby. Well, as you saw, um, I paid about 46 bucks for the box. I think it's worth it. Definitely got some cool extended arts. Got a couple cool rare cards I can probably put in a deck. And then this nice little mythic rare card. Pretty sweet. Well, I do appreciate everybody stopping in, checking out the video. We just hit over 100 subscribers so greatly appreciate all that if you haven't already subscribed subscribe like comment really helps the channel appreciate it you guys have a great day see you on the next one